Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of conjugate vaccines. You might have heard about them, but do you really know what they are and how they work? Well, stick around because we're about to find out. What is conjugate vaccine? A conjugate vaccine is a type of vaccine that combines a weak antigen, typically a bacterial polysaccharide, with a strong antigen, usually a protein carrier. This combination enhances the immune response by stimulating the immune system to recognize and remember the polysaccharide, providing protection against bacterial infections. Conjugate vaccines have been instrumental in preventing diseases caused by bacteria with polysaccharide capsules, such as pneumococcal disease, meningococcal disease, and Haemophilus influenzae type B, Hib, infection. What are the different carrier antigens used in conjugate vaccines? Some of the commonly used carrier antigens include Diphtheria toxoid. This is a modified and inactivated form of the toxin produced by the bacteria Coronibacterium diphtheriae, which causes diphtheria. Diphtheria toxoid is often used as a carrier antigen in conjugate vaccines targeting bacterial infections. Tetanus toxoid. Similar to diphtheria toxoid, tetanus toxoid is an inactivated form of the toxin produced by the bacteria Clostridium tetani, which causes tetanus. It is frequently used as a carrier antigen in conjugate vaccines. CRM197 CRM197 is a non-toxic mutant variant of diphtheria toxin that is often used as a carrier protein in conjugate vaccines. It has been genetically modified to remove its toxicity while maintaining its ability to elicit an immune response. Protein carriers from other bacteria. In addition to diphtheria toxoid and tetanus toxoid, other protein carriers derived from bacteria such as Neisseria meningitidis, Haemophilus influenzae, and Salmonella typhi have been used in specific conjugate vaccines. The choice of carrier antigen depends on various factors, including the targeted disease, the immune response elicited by the carrier, and the safety and effectiveness of the carrier protein. What is the purpose of conjugate vaccines? The purpose of conjugate vaccines is to enhance the immune response and provide protection against bacterial infections caused by organisms with polysaccharide capsules. As polysaccharide antigens alone are often weakly immunogenic, especially in young children and some adults. By conjugating or linking these polysaccharide antigens to a protein carrier, conjugate vaccines overcome this limitation and generate a stronger immune response. The main goals of conjugate vaccines are Improved immune response Conjugate vaccines stimulate a more robust and effective immune response compared to vaccines containing polysaccharide antigens alone. The protein carrier acts as a potent immunostimulant, facilitating the recognition and processing of the polysaccharide antigens by the immune system. Enhanced protection. By eliciting a stronger immune response, conjugate vaccines provide better protection against bacterial infections. They generate a memory response that allows the immune system to quickly recognize and neutralize the bacteria if encountered in the future, preventing infection or reducing its severity. Targeted prevention. Conjugate vaccines are designed to target specific bacterial pathogens with polysaccharide capsules. They have been particularly effective in preventing diseases such as pneumococcal disease, meningococcal disease, and Haemophilus influenzae type B, Hib, infection which can cause severe illness, complications, and even death, especially in children. Public health impact. Conjugate vaccines have had a significant impact on public health by reducing the incidence and burden of bacterial infections. Their use has led to a decline in the number of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths associated with vaccine-preventable diseases, contributing to overall improvements in population health. Overall, the purpose of conjugate vaccines is to provide effective and targeted protection against bacterial infections, especially those caused by bacteria with polysaccharide capsules, and to improve public health outcomes by preventing the spread of these diseases. What are the examples of conjugate vaccines? Here are some examples of conjugate vaccines. Pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, PCV, PCV, such as Prevnar 13 or Synflorix, protects against infections caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae, including pneumonia, meningitis, and bloodstream infections. The vaccine combines different serotypes of pneumococcal polysaccharides with a carrier protein, typically CRM197. Haemophilus influenzae type B, Hib, conjugate vaccine. Hib conjugate vaccines, like ACT-HIB or Hiburix, target Haemophilus influenzae type B bacteria, which can cause severe invasive diseases such as meningitis and pneumonia. 
The vaccine conjugates the Hib polysaccharide with a protein carrier, often CRM197 or tetanus toxoid. Meningococcal conjugate vaccines. Several meningococcal conjugate vaccines are available, including MEN ACWY and MEN B vaccines. MEN ACWY vaccines protect against meningococcal serogroups A, C, W, and Y, and use a protein carrier like CRM197 or tetanus toxoid. MEN B vaccines, such as Bexero or Trumenba, target meningococcal serogroup B and employ a different approach by incorporating specific surface proteins of the bacteria. Typhoid conjugate vaccine, TCV, TCV, like type bar TCV, offers protection against typhoid fever caused by Salmonella typhi. The vaccine conjugates the V polysaccharide of the bacteria with a protein carrier, typically tetanus toxoid or CRM197. Meningococcal pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, MenPV, this innovative conjugate vaccine, still in development, combines the polysaccharides from both Neisseria meningitidis and Streptococcus pneumoniae to protect against multiple types of meningococcal and pneumococcal infections. Conclusion. Conjugate vaccines are a powerful tool in our fight against bacterial infections, offering protection to people of all ages, especially children. So, the next time you hear about conjugate vaccines, you'll have a better understanding of their incredible impact on public health. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching. Stay informed and stay curious.